what's up you guys so today as you can read the title today's story time so today i'm gonna be telling you guys about uh when i was 16 you know I just found out about sex you know just just wondering you know just uh dabbing into sex you know stuff like that so as you can read today i tell you guys about my first lap dance like it's gonna be lit so hey make sure you guys stay till the end don't go nowhere you know sit back relax kick it and just watch this vlog so and all to do let's get started all right so i'm taking you guys back man it was like five years ago all right so my brother he used to own a club it was called the spot he used to uh have it right up the street from my house but like we we used to go up there like me my my other brother and then him and then his wife and stuff we used to all go up there you know help out at the club and, and whatnot so all right this night it was my birthday my 16th birthday back in 2012 so hold up 11 my bad my bad <laughs> i can't count but yeah back in 2011 so you know all night we i'm 16 at the time so you know i'm i'm drinking a little bit a little bit i used to smoke like i, I started smoking at an early age but still and i'm sorry for the wind you guys like like that yeah you, you, i know you gotta hit that but yeah All right, all right. I'm sorry for like the wind. It's pretty windy outside, and it's pretty cold. You see me? I had uh, my shirt on, the little whatever this shirt is, shirt on, and then I put my jacket on. It's kind of cold out this motherfucker. But I hope you guys stay tuned to the end. You know, watch this vlog and like this vlog and comment. I smash that subscribe button. <laughs> I'm gonna start from the beginning. So, all right, the start of this day, like we all got that. Me, my brother, and my older brother. We all got that, you know, we, we sitting down, setting the tables and everything, you know, getting the food ready and everything for the uh, the party that night and stuff. So, all right, so his his uh, his uh wife pulled up. So, yeah, she got, she brings some bottles and, you know, something to drink and stuff. Just for us, though, like, uh, like uh, a pint or, or so, somewhat, you know what I'm talking about. But, <laughs> all right, so we started drinking. Like, I used to smoke blacks back in, uh, when I was 16. I used to smoke black, so I was probably smoking on the black day. My brother, he used to smoke, he used to, yeah, smoke cigarettes. My older brother, he ain't never smoked. He just smoked trees. But like, all right. So we started drinking. It was great goose at the time. It was great goose. That's what it was. It was great goose. So we started drinking. You know, feeling good, feeling good. All right. So the day went past. Everybody started coming in. So everybody started coming in. But it was the people who work at the uh, thing. But not work there. But like, like helped out there. Like the DJ. Like my brother-in-law and shit like that. So he the DJ and stuff like that. So we get all the food ready. You know. Uh, getting it out, you know, getting the drinks ready, getting the cups on the cups on the uh, the bar and shit. But like, the thing is, like, this shit got funny over the time. Like, everybody drunk as fuck. Like, you got people just coming in, you know, buying shots, buying shots and shit. But my sister in law, she stayed to give me drinks because it's my birthday. It's my birthday night. So, alright, so we get about. Alright, so we start. We started at about one or two in the afternoon. Like it's it didn't got damn near seven seven thirty, so like DJ my uh brother in law Sam so he called out the uh he called out my name on the on the little speaker shit on the speaker system and stuff. So like my bad for cussing like I'm trying to stop cussing. It's kind of hard at the time, but let's just keep going with the story. So like <clears throat> all right, so he called out it's my birthday and stuff. So my sister in law and them and her friends and shit and stuff stuff bring a uh, chair out to the center and they sit me down in the middle so next thing i can know I, I see this this lady from my side of my eye i see this old lady she ain't old but she kind of look old she like in her 30s and or whatnot like mid 30s almost 40s whatnot so i ain't get tired but so she she started giving me a lap dance so i'm like hold up <laughs> I was looking at the cutie over there, hold up. So I ain't really say that, but in my head, I was thinking that, you know. Eh. So like, all right. so yeah, she started twerking and dancing and shit. Like, ah, she started twerking and dancing. <laughs> oh my, yeah, twerking and dancing on me, right? So I'm cool with it. I'm just going with it, you know, just just dancing and shit, you know, just dancing and stuff. But the thing that weirded me out, like she was. She looked old as fuck, like old as fuck. And so I'm, uh, so 
I don't judge women like I'm not. I'm not gonna judge you like that. I'm not gonna judge her like that. Okay. Yeah, I'm a young man. Like you know, I I, I like my young sisters and 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 stuff. Just young women and stuff. So, <clears throat> so she ca- she classifies as a cougar. She damn near almost wanted like every young guy she she walked up to. Every young guy, and she just she just happened. She just happened to give me a lap dance. Like, why, why? Oh no God! No God! Please no! 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 Don't don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to yourself, please. But. So the night goes on, you know, start back drinking, you know, I'm done after the lap dance and stuff. So finally, I got a chick I know, a chick I know. She, she I'm not gonna tell y'all the backstory on her, but she asked, I used to, I, I knew her. So <clears throat> she started giving me a lap dance. Now this girl, she fine as fuck, so I'm cool with that. Like nigga, they're getting hard and everything. Niggas, at attention, my nigga, attention. So, <laughs> so we started dancing on her. I mean, we started dancing on her. She started dancing on me and stuff, you know. I'm, I'm jigging to the music with her, dancing and stuff. She twerking and shit. So, we all in the night, you know, in the night and everything. Like, at this time, I remember all this stuff. I remember all this stuff. But we go back drinking. So, we go back drinking more shit, like brown and white. And, like, dang, I got told the fuck up. And like, and I was just 16. But I guess a lot of kids drink like that if... You grew up, I guess, in the ghetto, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so by right, by this time, you know, it's time to go home. It's like time, it's like 11, 12 at night, you know, almost one in the morning. So like, <clears throat> like all of going home, like I'm drunk as fuck. Like, I'm I'm asleep. I'm sleeping in the truck. Like my brother truck. Like I done everybody inside still doing shit. I'm in the motherfucking truck, knocked the fuck out, like gone, like out there. And so, like, my brother come knocking on the door. He said, you all right, Nick? I said, yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, bro. And so, I didn't even know I even said, yeah, bro. He told me I said, yeah, bro. I ain't, that's how fucked up I was. So, I'm, I went back to sleep, you know. So, my brother, he dropped me and my brother off to our house, back to our house. And, like, me, I'm stumbling out the car, you know. I almost falling, you know, out the car, out of the truck. And his truck said, hi. So, that was the, the fucked up part. <laughs> I'm going to bust my ass. So... I, I get into my room, you know, I go to bed, but the next morning, I don't remember anything, like, I ain't even throw up that night, that's G shit, I ain't even throw up that night, but I used to smoke too, so I was high as fuck, and I woke up in like the middle of the night to just go smoke a black, like smoke a black, so the next morning, I couldn't remember a damn thing, like, I ain't even remember that old lady dance on me. I didn't remember the chick dancing on me. I didn't even remember what I ate that night. So like, then my brother, he started, they filmed me. They filmed the little thing. <laughs> they filmed the dancing and shit. So luckily I got that film back. So, and I saw what the fuck happened. So my brother, he told me that, that the old lady was dancing on me. I didn't even know. I was like, what the fuck? I, I said, how you, why you gonna let that lady do that to me? And then he couldn't even say shit. He was just laughing. And that's the fucked up part about it. They was just laughing. Everybody was just laughing. That shit wasn't funny. But and all in all, it, it was a it was a good night. It was a good birthday, good 16th birthday. And I damn sure wanted to smash the chick that I knew that night, but I couldn't. I would have passed out. I would have. I would have. I would have out there. I would have blacked out. But I hope you guys like this video, and I hope you guys comment, like. Smash that subscribe if you haven't already. And I know you're watching this video, so make sure you smash that like button and watch this thing all the way to the end because it's going to be lit. I mean, well, it is lit. You know what I'm saying? So I love you guys. You know, I always miss you guys. And I'm trying to get this day to day vlog, this, blah, 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 this daily vlog, you know, day to day vlog for you guys. But I, mean, I got to find out more stuff to do. But make sure you guys stay safe. Make sure you guys stay tuned. You know, always think positive. And always inspire somebody else. Because you never know what a person's day is until you inspire it. How a person's day is until you see them smile. Now, inspire somebody else. I want you to do that. All right. Peace. I'm on my...